Big congratulations to last week's winners, comic fam. We have to talk about some monstrous comic book sales. Buckle up. That's right, guys. This is the Hot 10 Runners Up. The 10 books that didn't quite make our Hot 10 list because they only had one record-breaking sale per book, but they deserve some honorable mentions nonetheless. Hit that subscribe. Slap the like button. We have nine eights we haven't seen in years come to market this past week. Nine nines and even a 10.0 at the list. At number 10, we have Green Lantern, 59, the first appearance of Guy Gardner. HBO spec is on high demand, and this book came to the market in a 9.6. My favorite Green Lantern, and that 9.6 sold for just $1,580 back in 2011. It's up 362% now, selling for $7,300. We know that Green Lanterns are coming to HBO Max soon. We found out back in April, courtesy of Key Collector Comics, that Finn Whitrock, you know him from American Horror Story, is going to be portraying Guy Gardner, Hal Jordan's backup Green Lantern. At the list at number nine, we have Silver Surfer issue number 12. A thicker book, but a 9.8 that doesn't come to market often. The 9.8 sold back in 2019 for $5,400. $400. Jim, what do you feel about this 164 percentage increase now selling for $14,250? Huge gains, huge price tag for this hard to secure in 9.8 book. It makes me think does Silver Surfer issue 4 have something to do with this? Are collectors looking for classic John Buscema covers since that iconic book is becoming more and more out of reach? There's only nine copies graded on the census to date in this grade. A lonely 18 issues in this run. A lot of Silver Surfer fans. Stan Lee's on record favorite superhero that he created. Maybe it's the completionists that are looking for high grade copies. They're scarce and they're breaking records nearly every single week at the list at number eight. Strange Tales 159. Who's this first appearance? Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. The romantic interest of Nick Fury, Julia Dreyfus, portraying this character in not just Falcon and Winter Soldier, but yes, see her at the end of Black Widow. Could she be assembling the Thunderbolts? A lot of members believe it to be so, but I digress because we've been waiting anxiously for a 9.8 to hit the market. It's amazing that we haven't seen one yet, but the last time it came to market was back in 2016, selling for $3,107. Jem, hit him with the new high. Up 310%, selling for $12,750. And we just got to see that Black Widow post credit scene coming to fruition in the Hawkeye TV series. At the list in number seven, Journey into Mystery Annual number one, a thicker book, difficult to secure in high grade, the first appearance of Hercules, Zeus. Characters that, yes, have made their way into comics, but it wasn't until this moment in Marvel history where they became mainstays in ongoing continuity. This is the first battle between Thor and Hercules, and with the God Butcher slated on his way for the next Thor movie, there's got to be more Olympians introduced in the MCU. Who is Gore going to kill? Yeah, we know Russell Crowe is slated to play Zeus, and Hercules is rumored for Thor Love and Thunder as well, which makes sense why this book is seeing record-breaking sales. A 9.6 sold. It went for $8,565 back in 2017. It's up 133%, now selling for $19,957. Hot damn, comic fam. 20K for a 9.6. This book has been blowing up all year. And if you like these 10 books that we're talking about, you got to peep the larger list that we source all this information, all this data from. Key Collector Comics, the runner's up list, has as many as 20 plus other record breakers that you got to see. Available for both Androids and iPhones. Use code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription, get the app in its entirety, price guidance, catalogs, news, and updates, and support what we do. And on to number six, we got a Gem Mint 10, baby, Venom, Lethal Protector, issue one, in a 10. Woo, we do not see gems like this often, specifically this one. Last sale was in 2006, and it sold for under $1,000. 900 is what it went for back then. This is the first solo series of Venom. Venom, legit becoming a lethal protector. This red hollow foil cover was actually a red labeled CGC graded book. Now, although this is a CGC 10, it's already the highest grade you can possibly get. People pay premiums for that old school red label because it's believed that CGC was harsher on their grading back in the day. 
So 900 in 2006, up 1,261% this past week. Holy smokes. This book just sold for $12,250. What's so crazy about that is I could remember even seeing this book being posted on the CGC forums along with the black variant in the CGC 10 that went for crazy low money compared to what this is going for. And hold tight, comic fam. This isn't the only book above a 9-8 that has broken records this very week at the list at number five. The first appearance of Riddler. We have Detective Comics, also known as Tech, issue number 140. And we're talking about the OG, the Golden Age Riddler. A 5.5 sold for 3,800 back in 2013. It's up 386% now selling for $18,450. At the list of number four, we have New Mutants 98, the first appearance of Deadpool. And this one's nuts, comic fam. We have not seen a 9.9 .9 hit the market since 2009, selling for $12,250. And I suspect even back then, that number for this grade sounded preposterous to some. Well, now, 2021, we have an increase of 139% this week with an all-new high of $29,250. Woo, that's crazy, man. I'm telling you, long gone are those 2009, 2010 prices. Moving on to number three, we have Marvel Mystery Comics number nine. This is the second battle of the Submariner versus the Human Torch. We have the second cover appearance of the Submariner, and this is a Golden Age book that is so scarce. It doesn't come up often, let alone in high grade. And we have a 2.0 that hasn't been seen in the market, at least a recorded sale, since 2006, selling for $3,550 back then. Well, one came to market this very week, up 527%, now selling for $22,250. So much Submariner spec going on. If you guys caught our last hot 10, the number one on the list was the Fantastic Four annual one for no reason, just because he's on the cover. Whatever Submariner is on, it's going to sell. Just like number two on the list, we have Tales of Suspense, issue 52, the first appearance of the Black Widow of Natasha Romanoff. Not sure why this book is spiking. We got a new Black Widow in town. That's a good point, Jim, but what I do know is that in dealer circles, this book, whenever it's brought up in high grade, it's always stressed that it's difficult to secure above an 8.0. It just doesn't happen often. There's a lot of low-grade copies of this Silver Age book, and we have a 9.2 that we're reporting on this week. Let me put in perspective just how much interest is in getting a high-grade copy regardless of current MCU situations for our Black Widow. We have a $7,200 sale that was set back in 2017 this past week, an increase of 292%, now selling for $28,250. Almost 30K for Black Widow. That's crazy. But what's crazy is what's number one on our list. The number one runners up from our Hot 10 list. We're talking G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Oh, we're talking about the elusive 9.9. .9. Haven't seen this bad boy come to the market since 2017. Last selling for $3,550. The market has changed. Spec is real. The nostalgia cycle is in full swing for over a year. The book is up 1,082% selling for an all new high of $25,500. G.I. Joe comic history has been made, comic fam. Hit the like. Slap the subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. It'll enter you to win a Trial of Magneto issue number one, a What Not Comic Tom Raph Grissetti exclusive. And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Nothing said. Comic fam, join me with Gem Mint and all my homies. We bring you dollar bid start auctions that last 60 seconds long on the best new app to buy and sell comic books, funny books, collectibles, whatnot. Available for both Androids and iPhones. Link in the description to follow my page, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Also, we have two other videos for you to check out. We made them for you. Enjoy them, and have a great week.